Hi, it's Monday, June 29th, 2020. My name is Noah Seeley and welcome to my channel. So today we're going back to our normal content and we're going to be discussing another paper which relates to reinforcement learning. The paper is called Rainbow, Combining Improvements in Deep Reinforcement Learning by the Google DeepMind Research Team, as you can see listed here on the paper. I'm excited for this one as it ties together all of the other reinforcement learning papers we've looked at so far, using previous research on the DQN agent to sort of combine it all and make a super agent. So we're going to be covering this paper in two parts as usual and before we get to it, if anything related to reinforcement learning still seems a little bit fuzzy, I invite you to go back and check out my two-part intro on reinforcement learning that I'll link in the description below. They're quick videos and cover the definitions, processes, and applications used in reinforcement learning. So on to the paper. Today we'll be covering the introduction, background, and extensions to DQN sections of the paper. So the introduction section begins with the team discussing the success of the Google DeepMind's DQN network in reinforcement learning, especially in the niche Q learning subject. They then go on to explain the double DQN prioritized experience replay and dueling architecture papers by the DeepMinds team, which we have already discussed previously on my channel. I'm not going to review them too much here, so if you're unfamiliar with any of those papers, I'll link those videos in the description below for you guys to go check out before you finish this video. Additionally, the section mentioned papers which we have not yet read that have contributed to the DeepMinds DQN agent, such as learning from multi step bootstrap targets, which shifts the bias variance trait off to help propagate newly observed rewards faster to earlier validated states. They also mentioned the distributional queue learning, which learns a categorical distribution of, of discounted returns instead of estimating its mean. Finally, they mentioned the noisy DQN, which uses stochastic network layers for exploration. The team mentions that this is the tip of the iceberg for research published relating to improving the DQN agent. This section goes on to suggest that all of these topics work on the same general DQN structure, but all solve very different problems and thus can be combined in order to solve many problems at once. Although some loose, non-complete combinations have already been published, this paper aims to combine all topics I just mentioned. So here's the spoilers part of the paper. It was actually very possible to combine all of these topics into one single reinforcement learning agent, and with it, the team was able to produce a state-of-the-art agent, which was able to perform at a very high level in the Atari Games benchmark, which we have seen in previous papers. So the background section begins by saying that reinforcement learning involves no agents supervision. It is simply the problem of an agent going into an environment and learning which actions are able to maximize a scalar reward function. Now what I'm finding is that these background sections in these papers usually just give a nice introductory summary of what reinforcement learning is. So let's check that out. The agents and environment subsection provides insight into the processes of reinforcement learning in the context of agents and their environment. The environment provides some sort of observation or initial state to the agent, which the agent then responds with an action. With this action, the environment will return a reward and a new state. This process repeats until the environment somehow terminates. This process is also known as a Markov decision process, or MDP. They also mention that for the agent, action selection is based on the agent's policy. The policy is a probability distribution for all actions given a state. The better reward that an action may yield given the state, the more likely an agent may be to choose that action. The agent aims to optimize this policy so they can be most likely to choose the best action for each state, thus maximizing the reward function of the environment. They optimize this policy through learning. The subsection ends by discussing various algorithms that may be implemented to an agent to learn. An example they use is a greedy approach, which has the agent simply pick the action that directly yields the best reward and then updates their knowledge of the environment depending on that result. The deep reinforcement learning and DQN section starts by admitting that the theory mentioned in the previous subsection is unrealistic when it comes to large environments that have many state action pairs. It's simply too inefficient to keep track of all of those values and calculations. Deep reinforcement learning fixes this issue as instead of keeping track of all of those values, a neural network is used to take input from the environment and output an action based on its weights that have been updated from previous iterations. Within the neural network, learning comes from gradient descent. The DQN agent was able to achieve this as it took input from a CNN which fed into a fully connected layer that would output actions for the agent. They finish this subsection by discussing various key elements to the DQN agent, which I have discussed in previous previous videos relating to this topic. As I've mentioned, I'll link those videos in the description below for you guys to go check out if you're still confused about this agent. But basically, we can think of it as the foundation for all DQN related research. The extensions to DQN section starts by saying that the DQN has been a milestone for reinforcement learning, but it does have its issues. The topics mentioned in the introduction sections all acted as extensions to this algorithm in order to fix many of those issues. Thus, the paper proposes six of these extensions, which 
they will use and implement into a single DQN agent in order to solve many distinct problems and improving it significantly. The selected extensions are double queue learning, prioritized experience replay, dueling networks, multi-step learning, distributed RL, and noisy nets. Now, like I said in the introduction, I made videos on the first three of those extensions, and I believe those videos give them a much better explanation than I can do in this video. So I invite you to go check out those videos, which I'll link in the description below, in order to learn about them if you haven't already. As for the other three, I plan to someday make videos on them just to really complete this series, but for now, I'll just have to briefly explain them here to end this section. So multi-step learning is used to compensate for the greedy action selection the Q learning algorithm uses. This algorithm instead uses forward view multi-step targets, which are defined as shown here in the paper. A tuned multi-step learning algorithm speeds up learning in the agent. The distributional RL teaches the agents to approximate the distribution of returns rather than the expected return. The agent is given a distribution that is updated with each iteration, with the hope of converging at a place where that distribution is very similar to the actual distribution of returns. Lastly, the noisy nets compensate for the loss of exploration behavior due to greedy action selection. The algorithm uses a noisy linear layer defined here in the paper, which the agent will need to learn to ignore. The agent learns to ignore it at different states and places though, which promotes explorative behavior in the agent. So yeah, that concludes part one of my discussion on the rainbow combining improvements in deep reinforcement learning paper by the Google DeepMinds team. I should have part two already tomorrow, where we'll cover the integrated agent, experimental methods, analysis, and discussion sections of the paper. There are also some more technical bits in today's sections that I did not delve as much into. So as always, I've linked all resources that I've used in the description below for you guys to go check out yourself. If you feel that I've missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.